you all made a choice. You had free will. It had nothing to do with your governments and your, and your laws and none of that stuff. It's, it's you as a person. You knew as a person. You knew. For us to carry that extra burden, is, I, don't think it's, I don't think it's right. I'm sorry. I'm just saying we'll help you. But at the end of the day, you, you knew. And I think you all have to come correct. You have to confess and say, you know what? I was wrong. Juan, as a molecular biologist, there's very few people who really understood. Well, not the heads of the medical center and, and not some of, you know, certainly not Trump. I don't know what it is you think that they knew. So people did not know, first of all. And second of all, this was mandated. A lot of people took this under duress because they had people that were depending on them. So I think that this is a lot more complicated. I'm not here to judge anybody. I also do appreciate the person standing up and voicing because I do believe everybody has a right to their own voice and their opinion. But this situation is very unique. So imagine somebody who makes the bad decision to smoke and gets lung cancer or the bad, the, the bad decision to drink alcohol, even though they know that it's bad and they get liver failure. Those people still get treatment. If you swim in the ocean and you get bitten by a shark and you survive, you're gonna get treated. If you are vaccine injured, you're getting almost nothing. So I am financially ruined I had to fight for healthcare. I had to fight for people to believe me. We, we are like roadkill. I, I was also mandated, my hospital mandated it. So it was either take it or I lose my job and my career. There's a big difference between knowing and trusting and then being left for dead. Thank you very much, Sean. I would add to that just one other point that there's another part to knowing, which is knowing that if something happened to you, then you were out of luck. I feel like people still don't know. And then I feel like Jennifer Sharp's film actually helps to educate. It's educated a lot of my friends who didn't know until I told them like, hey, look, if something happens to you, you're gonna have to burn through your own savings account for medical health. And it's such a heated discussion. So I appreciate the woman who stood up and, and said what she wanted to say. And we all, and when I hear that, my, my blood is still raised from what she said, but that's okay. Like we have to be able to hear and listen and understand. There's a lot we don't know. There's a lot of censorship. I had surgery two weeks ago and it had nothing to do with my vaccine injury. With my doctor I've had for 18 years, she's putting me under anesthesia two weeks ago. And we're talking while I'm waiting for the anesthesia to go in. And that's when I decided to tell her. So I made a movie about vaccine injury. And she listened for a second and she was like, great, you know, people need to hear. And then she went on to the typical thing like, yeah, vaccine reactions happen. They are rare, but you know, also reactions happen to the COVID. When you get COVID, you can get long COVID. And, and if I was somebody who was just looking for my doctor to tell me what to do, because there's so much information, I would have trusted her and she would have given me the information get the shot, it's gonna help you, it's beneficial. And she would say that 100% thinking she was right and she's a good person. And there's just a lot of different information and there's a lot of things we don't know and a lot of things we're not being told, even the doctors. I will always fight for you.